Nick Sirianni's throwing his headset. He's screaming at the refs. The Eagles coach as frustrated as every Eagles fan out there. The mistakes maddening again today. Three touchdowns are taken away due to penalties. I'm told it was a hot topic during a team meeting on Monday. Sirianni was yelling like guys have never seen before. Even Sirianni admits today, sometimes you have to change your tone. How about this? Jalen Hurts was in diapers when Tom Brady made his ah. NFL debut. He was only two <laughs> years old. They'll go at it tonight. Can you wait? The Eagles face Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight. The last time the Eagles beat a defending champ, they beat Brady in the Super Bowl. Let's go live to the length to Deuces Rogers and Jamie Apodi. Guys, Hurts can take a baby step tonight and win back-to-back -back games. Nick Sirianni is throwing himself right into the fire of this heated rivalry between the Eagles and Cowboys tonight. Look, Sirianni knows how much this means to this city. He says fans come up to him all the time, left and right, and say, just beat Dallas. So, Eagles fans, you're going to love this. Sirianni rocking a beat Dallas shirt. Good news for Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts. I'm told Hertz is doing just fine today after going to the hospital last night. This should help. Lane Johnson is expected to return Sunday in Las Vegas. It's good to see Johnson back on the practice field today with his teammates after missing three games, battling anxiety and depression. There's always this debate. Are they running the ball enough? Are the Eagles going to run the ball enough? Is, is Nick Sirianni going to run the football? Uh, I know you hope so. <laughs> I mean, I can't really, I can't really say, sit here and say yeah. You told the team before a practice this week, settle for nothing less than greatness. How great can this team be in your mind? Yeah, I think we have the potential to be um, something special. Are guys really calling you old man? Yeah, yeah, they call me that, but it's cool. I just say, Who's man. Who's calling you old man? I Who's mean, people people just talk about my grades and say, oh, man, oh, man, I call it wisdom. You know, <laughs> Nick Sirianni got emotional after his first win as Eagles coach. He took a moment to gather himself before joining the party in the locker room where owner Jeffrey Lurie gave him the game ball. And Sirianni told the team, great win, but it's only one. Of course, this one. He'll never forget Sirianni. He is fired up for his Eagles debut against the Falcons. Look at him go. Look, we didn't know what to expect from Jalen Hurts and this team, but they look pretty, pretty good today. First quarter, Devontae Smith makes that great first impression on third and four. His first catch, his first touchdown from Hurts. Eagles up 7-3, number six with six catches and 71 yards. End of the half, Hurts runs a two-minute drill to perfection, avoids a sack, escapes, first down and more. He runs for 62 yards today. Plays later, two seconds to go. Unbelievable here. Hurts rolls out, throws to Dallas Goddard. Got it. What a throw, what a catch. Hurts and Sirianni, they're on the same page. This handshake is actually what the coach does with his kid. Eagles up nine at the half. The D does the rest. Zero touchdowns allowed. The Eagles kick off the season by kicking down Atlanta's door. 32-6 the final, and hats off to Nick Sirianni. After his first win, he gives his visor to a fan. I had a moment with myself and just, it, it, it meant a lot. But Hurts, on the other hand, well, he is a lot harder on himself. He tells me he's not satisfied because he didn't complete every single pass out here. He is a big fan of the Rocky movies. He says he cannot wait until they play that clip from Rocky 2 where Adrian's laying in the bed. She turns to Rocky and goes, win. That'll get him fired up. I'm liable to be at 13 by the time we get 13? to 13. I mean, you just I, that's how excited I get. I can't okay. I can't control myself. I wouldn't necessarily put my house up on 13. Don't put your house up yeah, for 13. Don't, do no, that. don't, 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 don't put do your house that, up for but, 13. But I'm just saying my excitement level by the time the season gets here. We're going to the Super Bowl. Uh, don't put your house up. <laughs> Uh, these are my cleats. When the Eagles lace up their cleats Sunday night in Seattle, they will put their best foot forward on and off the field. Lots of colors. Sporting custom cleats, Eagles players from Carson Wentz to Chris Long to Brandon Graham are raising awareness for charitable causes that hit close to home with fancy footwork like this. They signify Water Boys, which is a group I started uh, a couple years back uh, that raises money for clean water. Ride, sideline, racism, uh, cleats. It's all about, you know, Racial equality. The Torrey Smith Family Fund, which is focused on helping underprivileged youth like myself. Eagles receiver Torrey Smith is among more than 800 players league wide taking part in the My Cleats, My Cause campaign. He's digging his heels into multiple causes. For me, domestic violence and sexual assault has always been a big deal for me because of, you know, I, I witnessed that with my mother growing up and I know our responsibility as men. So oftentimes men don't speak up when things like this happen. So 
I have to make sure that I'm doing my part. A lot of people in our in our business right now have a platform and you know we can help help this cause. Not only will the Eagles raise awareness with cleats like these, but they can also raise money. After the Seattle game, the Eagles will be auctioning off cleats like this on NFL.com. Eagles fans, you can purchase these, bid on these cleats, and 100% of the proceeds will go to the player's charity of choice. I have the opportunity to auction it off or a fund or a charity. Um, it's a big deal. Going toe to toe with the Seahawks is yet another step in the right direction in helping others. Jeff Skaversky, Channel 6, Action News. And Jeff, mistake after mistake after mistake. Same story, and this is ugly today. And as bad as they look, Nick Sirianni says he still loves his team. Not much to love today. For the Eagles' sake, hopefully what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas because they look awful today. Coach Nick Sirianni gambles, rolling the dice with a few risky calls, but the Eagles with no luck. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles come out hot in Vegas. Opening drive hurts to Kenny Gainwell, flies into the end zone. 7-0 Eagles, but the tables turn quickly. Final minutes of the first, Miles Sanders twists his right ankle here. Ouch. It's not believed to be broken, but he's headed for x-rays. Sanders tears up as he's carted off. Then under two to go in the half. Raiders running back Josh Jacobs around the D and in. 96-yard touchdown drive. Eagles give up points on five straight possessions. Down 10 to start the third. Sirianni gambles. Onside kick here. Jake Elliott can't catch up to it. Raiders recover in Eagles territory. It leads to this. Plays later. Kenyon Drake in. Eagles down 24-7, and things really begin to unravel. Three fumbles today. Hurts in trouble here to Kenny Gainwell. Fumbles the ball. Jason Kelsey gets it, but Kelsey's hit hard. Helmet goes flying, and he flies off the handle. Kelsey gets a penalty for this. Everyone's going to be mad about this. Down 23 at the goal line. Another fumble. Oh, Hurts can't get it. They lose the ball, lose the game, 33-22. It's the Eagles' fifth loss in six games. Anytime you lose like that, uh, you know, everybody's got to look themselves in the mirror, and it just wasn't good enough. It's hard to believe. We'll wrap it up tonight on Sports Sunday at 11.35, just a few minutes, with Deuces Rogers and Ron Jaworski, who are standing by. After the game, Fletcher Cox was visibly frustrated, not happy with a play call, and Eagles safety Rodney McLeod spoke to the team, challenging everyone to be better next Sunday at the winless Lions. Zach Ertz yeah, making his debut for Arizona. Yeah, Ertz in red doesn't look right. Ertz makes a great first impression. His first touchdown against Houston, 47 yards, longest of his career. Ertz, the first player in NFL history, re receiving touchdowns in back-to-back -back games for two different teams. Remember, he scored for the Eagles in that finale. Ertz and the Cardinals win 31-5, they're 7-0. Somebody wake up Tom Brady, or is this how he gets focused? Bucks hosting the Bears, Brady to Mike Evans. 600th career touchdown pass for Brady, first to ever hit that mark, but oh no, Evans doesn't realize it. He gives Brady's historic ball to a fan. The Bucks come running over. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, we need that back, please. Brady, he's a lot more likable in Tampa. After four touchdowns, touching moment, he gives his hat to a young Bucks fan who beat cancer. The kid broke down in tears. Bucks win 38-3. Speaking of Brady, Sixers coach Doc Rivers calls Joel Embiid Brady S tonight. Why? Embiid does it all as the Sixers are shorthanded. No Ben Simmons, no Shake Milton, no Andre Drummond. No problem.